Hello Daniel here again, uh, bringing you more Dwarf Forest, but this time, like I said in my last part, it's going to be a bit of uh, more tidbits. This part, I'm just going to go do a quick embark and I'm going to show you and talk about volcanoes and hunting. Uh, volcanoes are very useful in that they, they, you know, you can use magma for traps, you can use it for... Uh, you can use it to power furnaces, which is one of the things that I'm going to show you how to do. Uh, magma furnaces and forges basically means uh, you don't need any uh, any uh, any fuels to say smelt iron, for example. So it's very useful. It basically uh, saves quite a lot of time, saves a lot of uh, stuff. So as you can see here, we are on top of a volcano called the Faithful Flame. So I'm just going to go ahead and embark on top of the volcano, which is over here, and press E. It also salt water here, and I will be going over how to desalinate salt and water in the future, but for now we're not going to worry about that. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare for the journey carefully. So first of all I'm going to get a miner, a miner, carpenter, mason, armor smith, weapon smith. And then I'm also going to get something else interesting. Uh, it's basically a, a ambusher. Basically, ambushers are the people that do uh, traps and stuff, uh, and well, no, no, not traps, they're basically hunters, uh, and the interesting thing about it is that any dwarf with the ambusher skill, that has the high skill when embarking, gets a free set of leather armour, which is leather, leather chest armour, leather leggings, leather low or high boots, and leather helm or steel cap. Uh, as well as that, they get a crossbow made of copper, bronze, bismuth, bronze, iron, or steel, uh, and a quiver with 30 to 4 steel bolts. So basically, you get a lot of free stuff if you want to start with a, with a, uh, with a high skilled uh, ambusher. So, obviously, my dwarf, that's his highest skill now, is an amb ambusher, so he will start with some of that. Uh, but it is quite random as to what he gets. But that basically saves you quite a lot of stuff, you know, you don't have to put loads of money towards uh, crossbows and that kind of thing. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and modify this hugely because, quite frankly, I just need to show a few wee little things. So, as well as this, I'm just going to go ahead, I don't know, make another miner. It doesn't really matter. So, I can go ahead and embark into here. So, we're going to go ahead and pause the game. And let's see what we are dealing with. The volcano should be over here, I believe. Here it is. Okay, so it's very low down. As you can see, oh my god, loads of loads of lava. And as well as that, there's obsidian surrounding everywhere. So this, you know, you can do a lot of stuff with screw pumps, you can play with magma, that kind of thing. Uh, but first of all, we're gonna go ahead and look at our hunter dwarf. So as you can see here is our hunter, he's gonna go ahead and pick up his equipment and he's gonna start hunting straight away. Uh, somebody, the person who asked me to cover this, I can't quite remember the name now, I do apologize. Uh, but I think a question was asked uh, saying whether he'll keep caverns more clean and w whether his life will be in danger if he goes in a giant hole. Uh, well, hunters seem to be, they are very good at not dying. As you can see, there's a hunting, there's a, him hunting a groundhog at the moment. Uh, but hunters are very strong for some odd reason, you know, they can take down stuff that they shouldn't really be able to take down, but they do. Like when animals are being hunted, they kind of, they don't really seem to fight back, but they can still die, hunters can. Uh, but a lot of the time, they're quite strong. But I personally hate when hunters go down caverns, uh, because obviously if a hunter's going down no cavern then uh, there's obviously some space open and you know animals and monsters can get through there so uh, I feel it's not very good for the cavern really you know the best way to go and uh, keep a cavern clear is by having military run down there uh, and killing stuff, at least that's how I do it personally. Going into hunters, I believe that the uh, hunter's ammo is designated in ammunition. Indeed, it is. See, much like with uh, your military, you can designate hunter's sins of uh, ammo, uh, just so you can keep a uh, track on stuff. So uh, now that we've embarked, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how you'd go about making a magma furnace or a magma forge. So I can go straight down here. Uh, Okay, so the first thing to be noted from a magma forge slash furnace is the fact that it must be, uh, like, there must be one above uh, a magma source. So I can go ahead and go down here, channel this here down. This isn't how you have to do it, but uh, this is how I'm going to do it. So what I'm going to do is go channel this down. Whoops, it is easy. Okay, and disregard that. I'm going to go ahead and make a downward staircase and an upward staircase. Oops, I can't make it there. Oh, that's why, because there was that's just a hanging bit out. So I'll just go ahead and make a ramp here, and then it will uh, actually go. There we go. So uh, now that we've done this, we get magma forages uh, and furnaces available. So press B, W if you want to make a magma forge. As you can see, it is bound to V. So we need a magma safe building material. Uh, 
which is quite a few different kinds of uh, materials. But basically, what you want to do with a magma forge or furnace is you want to plant it it's to ensure that it has one, 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 uh, at least one piece of magma underneath it. You know, I could put it, say for example, I could put it in here, in this three by three area here, like there. Like that, and that would work fine because it has that bit. But one important thing you don't want to do is put it in the middle. If you put it in the middle where the person who's working on it stands, they will go and they will go and walk in the middle and they will fall down and die. Uh, and that's how that's powered. As long as it has at least, uh, I believe it's six or seven levels of magma, which you know you're always going to have, uh, you'll always have it fueled. So that's uh, very simplistic, I feel. I think. Uh, that smallest cover of volcanoes. If you want to make a magma smelt like glass furnace or kiln, you can do the same. Again, you need the uh, magma safe building materials. Uh, but that's all you need. Getting magma safe materials is quite easy. You can go look them on the magma wiki. Uh, I'm not quite sure of all the mag uh, magma safe materials, but generally, you know, if you mine, you're going to find some pre uh, pretty fast. But yeah, volcanoes can be a really fun thing to embark on to. Uh, they open a lot of doors and possibilities. And obviously a hunter doing this will give us some food and keep us a bit safer. Although groundhogs don't really pose a threat. One thing to be noted from a hunter is the fact that although they kill stuff, if you don't have a butch antenna, they obviously won't do anything with the, the dead stuff. It'll just be dead. You know, it's basically just protecting you. So that's something very important to be noted when you're going out and hunting. Uh, so I think this more or less summarises... Uh, the two subjects that I want to go over are volcanoes and our hunting. So if anybody else has anything else that uh, they want me to cover, I'll be more than happy to do so. I know I do have desalinating water to cover yet, uh, and I will be doing that shortly in the future. Uh, but for now, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.